Look down. Look down. Put the tube into the kidney, but through your skin. Okay. Um. I can give you a fucking kidney or half of a kidney, or I'll just take peanuts kidney. We can give you. A I can't get a dog. We can give you a little butter kidney. Somewhere. I've never been in the hospital more in my life. The incision looks like I'm gonna have to strap the pee bag to my leg. It's almost 31 weeks pregnant now. I know in my heart of hearts that everything is gonna be so worth it when I see that little baby in my arms. It's gonna be so worth it. It's two in the morning. I just had another round of preterm labor. I'm going home. Once I'm later dilated and they stopped the contractions with turbulent, so headed home, but I'm really tired of being in the hospital, that's for sure. <laughs> Do we have any idea how like, yeah, he's gonna weigh uh, when he comes oh, out? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my God, he's gonna look exactly like Hank. Yeah. <laughs> Dad? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at his lips. <laughs> oh my God. Little images today? Look how cute. He looks just like you, baby. Look at this little fucker. <laughs> oh. And Wait a second. Yeah. Go back to the lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's those are some those are some big old pillows. I don't know. <laughs> Do we know what kind of nose he's got? So she asked us um, about. Is that a straight nose? nose? Like or my nose? It's a beautiful little. It looks like yours, yours kind of. Is that like a nose? Do you think it looks like this schnoz? Cheeks, oh, you guys. Oh, chubby little cheeks. <laughs> two weeks and two days five minutes a day or something like that and I decided to try to put on my old clothes. Oh man, not fitting at all. Got my trusty pee bag. This is my favorite suit. Definitely doesn't fit. <laughs> Look at these pants. Couldn't even button them at all. This dress cannot zip in the back but it still looks really cute. Cannot believe I'm eight months pregnant. It's wild. Hopefully he stays in there for a few more weeks. I am 34 weeks and 4 days pregnant today. Another day in the hospital, I've got a kidney infection. This baby does not want to stay in there. Five weeks and five days pregnant, I think, today. And I just woke up and I realized that my hands, my face, my legs, and my feet are like super puffy. <laughs> it sounds like. Shit, it's so silky. <laughs> just touch it. Your attempt at kissing my ass. No, this is for baby pushers or pushing babies. What? No, I already have a robe, sweetie. Forget the robe. This is a nice tank top. You understand me? Who cares what it says? Besides, it doesn't even matter. This is true. <laughs> You were blessed. You understand me? I can't. Yes, you can. I'm gonna do it. Well, I don't care what you think, because you're gonna do it. You're gonna wear it, and you're gonna like it. And you're gonna understand that you are blessed. Don't be fucking around. You're gonna wear that shit. You think I'm gonna wear that? Give me no, birth? No, I don't think you are. I know you are. It doesn't matter if you wear it one time, it's all on you. You understand me? Go ahead and feel it with your digits. Baby. Feel it again with your digits. You, why do you have gloves on if you want to gloves. feel it? This is, this is, it, it's not, it's a side point. <laughs>
September 20th. Baby's on the monitors right now. It's super dark in here, but today is induction day. So you're having a good time camping? <laughs> Say hi to the kids. Say hi. <laughs> We're uh, <laughs> mom's face. Say hey, mom. This is the hospital room. It's baby day. Ready for the fully bulb. Yeah, right? Get right and my mom needs to go get. What are you doing? <laughs> no. Ready to catch the baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we can't wait for baby G. <laughs> <laughs> Come out of the oven. We've got my favorite nurse over here getting ready for yeah, this. Favorite nurse. Hi. Right. And mom can't be here, so. Yeah. But I'll be around. Lovely COVID. <laughs> but she'll be in the parking lot. Or something. <laughs> I was gonna sleep in the parking lot. I'm gonna be lot. sleeping on the bench like that guy was. Another one. <laughs> oh, hi. What are you wearing? What do you mean, what am I wearing? What's That's what the, the kids are wearing these days. V neck, baby. <laughs> yeah, this is the style, baby. You look nice. No, I know, I do. You have all your stuff in there? Yeah, more or less. That's a cute little, that's a cute one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a nice really thing. nice. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. like Mac Daddy right there. Mm -hmm. it's like, it's like the so this is like yeah. the, this is the nice one that he'll be in when he's older too. I it has... saw the video of this one. Oh, are you really? doing that? It's <laughs> no, I was, I, I was putting, this one, putting this one in the ball last night too. Yeah. My <laughs> little wiener dogs gave a test drive last night too. Mm -hmm. so, I feel like I'm a celebrity trying to finish doing double doors. Security people. Is this? Like, I don't want to see too much. I just want to see a glimpse. That's it. Just a quick little. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Check it through. <laughs> Honey, no! I mean, I, 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 I'm not trying to see the That's whole delivery. That's the funniest thing I've fucking seen. I said, I'm not trying to see the whole delivery. I just want a little sneak peek. That's it. Said, baby, some heart rate. I want you here with me. Right. I just did my hair. The nurse is about to start a toasting here. And I have a Foley bulb in right now. It was kind of painful going in. Um, felt like the world's worst pap smear. It wasn't unbearable, just painful. Here am I. Oh, you're about to start. Well, it's one in the morning on the 21st, and Hank is running around covered in coconut oil. <laughs> and he's taking some Polaroids. <laughs> what? You better be that right up. Your dad just turned 31 on the 18th. We were kind of hoping you'd be born around his birthday. Just got some Pitocin. I'm gonna do my makeup here. This is perfect, don't In a few hours. This, right this now. flash will actually develop really nicely. With your face, because you have the light on you. Okay. Three, two, and one. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look at how beautiful you are. Look at that. Look at that butter. What time is it, babe? So it's 1.30 in the morning on the 21st, and I'm getting the contraction. Pedosin induced contractions are apparently no joke, and I definitely feel that for sure. We're so excited to meet you, baby boy. You're so loved. Can't believe it's finally happening. Make me a little digit, baby. Let me see a couple more. <laughs> Say goodnight. See baby in the morning, hopefully. I think he's gonna try to get some sleep, but I won't be able to sleep. It's like two in the morning. Why are you wearing gloves to bed? Are you really wearing gloves to bed? Oh my god.
I got my epidural and I did my makeup. I feel nice and pretty. And I can't believe that today is baby day. I'm so excited to meet my son. So it's like 7.20 right now. So I had the Foley bulb inserted at 1.08 p.m. on August 20th, so that was yesterday. I started Pitocin at 12.30 a.m. Um, today, August 21st. I had the epidural placed at 4.55 a.m., which was, by the way, the guy that did it was amazing. He was so, so good. I didn't feel a thing. And the Foley bulb came out at 5.30 a.m., and then at 5.33 a.m., she checked me, and I was 4 centimeters dilated and 70% effaced. And at 5.36 a.m., I had my catheter placed. And that is the biggest update I have so far. Hank is still sleeping soundly. <laughs> Hopefully, get this show on the road. I really want to eat something, or not eat anything. I, I can't eat anything, but I can have like a liquid diet. So I'm just wanting some like jello or something. I'm feeling really nauseous, so they just gave me some Zofran. But I have a barf bag close by. But I'm really happy that I decided to do my makeup. I feel really pretty. And after a month of like seeing myself looking like a hoodlum, like this is nice, <laughs> so. All right, y'all, so I have a quick little update. My nurse just came in for day shift and she told me, kind of gave me the rundown for the day, kind of told me that she kind of expects baby to be here. He's moving around right now. But kind of expects baby to be here around late afternoon. It's almost nine. She's gonna check me again to see how far I've been dilating. The last time they checked me was around 5.30 and I was four centimeters dilated, 70% of face. We're gonna basically find out and see where I'm at in like 15 minutes and I'm really excited to see if I progress at all. I definitely want to try to get in some positions with the peanut ball. She mentioned that my doctor might come in and possibly break my water. I do not have a birth plan going into all of this because I just genuinely want baby to be here as healthy as possible. They can do whatever they need to do in order to get me to that point. I don't judge anybody that wants to do a certain thing for their birth plan. I personally have had friends that have had super extensive birth plans and it ends up just not working out unfortunately and they really end up like feeling resentful about their birth because it didn't go the way that they had planned it. Oh boy, I gotta press my little IV button and I'll be back. But Hank, Hank is still sleeping and it's almost nine. Men! So the doctor just came in and broke my water. I am five centimeters dilated and 80% of face and hopefully this is gonna speed up the process of labor. And hopefully this baby comes here by early afternoon, maybe late evening. The nurse has me with a peanut ball between my legs because apparently that also just helps like baby engage like, into, like my hips and everything. He just got his breakfast delivered and I'm on a liquid diet at the moment until this baby's born. I had to go on a liquid diet as of like 12 in the morning, so. I got jello though, which is awesome. Good morning, how'd you sleep? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. So we are six centimeters dilated from the last time they checked me. I'm feeling constant pressure, so hopefully baby's coming soon. They had to switch out my IV because this one, it started, the fluid started to build up and it was really painful. And that means just like the IV fluid wasn't going in my arm. So they had to put it in my other hand, which is so much better. Hank had to put the strollers in the car because we kind of have a smaller room. Yeah, with the, with the epidural, I can't feel a goddamn thing. Apparently, oh, oh, baby has a lot of hair. Very soon here. It'll be uh, into this world. We are waiting for you and we love you and, and uh, we can't wait for you to be out here. It's been a long road. <laughs> are you ready for me to do be done being pregnant? Yes. <laughs> it, it has low. Is it low now? She's still like six to seven? Well, oh, she, like oh, she gets swollen. What's that little trick you guys use when they get that swollen into your lip? Uh, could be a Benadryl, IV. Uh, maybe, yeah. You know. You could try it. I was thinking, so here's the thing. Ever since she hit like four, and then she seemed to be a bit like a facing, now it just seems to be kind of swollen. Small. Like little puppet fingers in her hand? <laughs> Thank you. 
how many cousins or Baby, free parking. Okay? I'm sorry. It's your free parking. You can get that little ticket no, okay. and bring it. Let's have it for you at the next station. Um, Why don't we just move this table all together? Seven eight. Seven eight. Seven Yeah. Yeah. Oh, second degree. 
Can I have you hold mom's legs here real quick for me? Yes, I'll walk you up Absolutely. I'm going to tie down to baby. I'm going to try and side to side, okay? Or are you just trying to get that out? Yeah, I want to get this out. Just we'll keep your dignity. Okay. <laughs> You're no longer on your schedule, it's on his schedule, and sometimes they want to latch, and you don't always know. So, we're going to work on that. And if need be, we have a lactation consultant. Oh, yeah, you look baby. <laughs> September 23rd, 2021, and we are taking baby Gunner home from the hospital today. I'm so happy because we had some issues with jaundice and some of his feeding, so I have to do a three-way feeding system, but baby boy was born on the 21st of September. He was six pounds and 17 ounces, and he's so beautiful. He looks just like his daddy. He was 20 inches long, and he was born at 8.17 p.m. And I pushed him out in four pushes. It took 17 minutes of pushing. My epidural failed in my left leg. And I tried my best to film the birth and everything. Yeah, and then we got my lovely mom who came out to help with everything. And she's an absolute angel. I'll show you guys her right now. We're, we're just so happy to have baby Gunner, and we're happy that mama is healthy and She's probably the most beautiful, she is the most beautiful mom ever, and Aww. he's the most beautiful baby, and I'm just happy to be grandma. I can't wait to introduce baby Gunner to the wiener dogs. I find myself calling him Bubby. 
a lot. That seems to be his little nickname. Bubba Gump Shrimp, or Hank calls him Little Worm. <laughs> you know what's funny is what? that was my nickname when I was a little girl. A little worm? Worm. My belly's gone down a lot from when I was pregnant and I got to shower today and it felt amazing. I got to bend over and I shaved my legs. It was great. <laughs> And I will say like the first like few days of postpartum were really really rough past I'm feeling way better today than I did days one and two. I was in so much pain like so much pain I have a second degree tear in my poor jeej and uh, definitely feeling it uh, the first day like you feel just like this intense pressure and like not everybody talks about like how the cramps that you get postpartum are honestly worse than labor cramps and i did not expect that i was in a lot of pain so but he was so worth everything i went through i had to get four kidney surgeries total to get this little guy and he was worth all of it i've been in the hospital now for three weeks and i am so ready to go home I haven't been outside in three weeks. My mom brought like all these flowers and stuff to try to make the room nice and homey and stuff. And she was sleeping on the couch for a while there. We just got the snoo delivered. So hopefully he sleeps nice and soundly, even though I really like having him on my chest. But yeah, he loves skin to skin and he's doing well, eating well now. And I have to go to a pediatrician appointment tomorrow morning. And baby's coming home today. Look at the little guy. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. What? He's two days old. Did you drop that box of tears or not? Oh, yeah, we have some. We're bringing, we're bringing our baby boy home. Yeah. Look at this little cutie. Okay, Mama's so here. Grandma's here. Mimi. Baby. And we get to go bye bye. And we get to introduce baby to the doggos. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Baby gun bun. <laughs> I gotta show you guys my, my lovely moo moo where my, my boobies can pop out. And I'm gonna show you my postpartum belly. What does it stay? Holy crap, ma. It's gone down a lot. What is this? Day two, technically? Yes. Yep, it's day two. That's what belly's looking like. I'm looking about like three months maybe. I don't know, something like that. Wearing a diaper. My baby's wearing a diaper and I'm wearing a diaper. It's great. So this is my little going home outfit. My baby's gonna get put in a little matching outfit. Mom's finishing a bottle that I just pumped. I pumped the whole thing. I know I felt like this before. It reminds me what I've been missing here. Every memory. you guys really enjoyed this video and going along this journey with me and if you guys want to follow me on my other social media I do post way more frequently than I do here on YouTube I will link like my Twitter Instagram TikTok, all that stuff so you guys can go there and follow me if you guys want to but I love you guys and I will see you guys soon bye I know I felt like this before